Hi, hi again. Shout out to Jeff Uno. Uh, it's my birthday today and many people contact me on Snapchat, Skype, telephone, etc. And uh, it's very, very uh, fun and uh, I am glad, of course. Uh, I was just out walking with uh, Milton, the dog and uh, reflected of course about the whole situation that is very very strange and very very uh, big and I found some interesting stones at the beach uh, I think they are quite old and uh, with interesting holes in it and uh, then I thought about this history we have that I don't really think it's quite right now because we have had uh, many big stones here on Gotland as well for the Bronze Age and how could they uh, manage to to do what they did without any technical uh, support. It's very interesting. I also think it's very very interesting about the connection between my mother uh, and where she was born in Boden and the story behind that. And if you draw a line uh, to Memphis, Tennessee, where the Republic for the United States um, started, you will find Skara, Bra, uh, a very, very interesting place. If you read the article, you will find that they lived probably for 2,000 years in a magical world there, without any wars. Hmm. And probably here at, on Gotland too, at the same time, 5,000 years ago. And uh, we have a fellow symbol on the Clinton Mountain here. Hmm. And now it's very, very hard even to show yourself naked in this patrical hierarchy system where the satanists rules hmm, it's very interesting I think and Joran Burenholt also have done some interesting archaeological research from 5000 years ago and we lived longer here than on the mainland and men lived longer than women Probably because they uh, was more active, I think. Maybe women also um, got many children. It was hard, maybe harder. I don't know. But it's interesting, very interesting. Um, I also <laughs> thought before when I wrote that article that it was some kind of source, God, that sent me signals through the phone and my computer when I thought about things and uh, when I watched stuff on TV, etc. But now I'm very sure that it's uh, alien mantis from the time of Atlantis that uh, do it. And I also think we have had an old world order before the new world order that the reptilians controlled as well and of course they knew about this um, Atlanteans or Mantis and don't want people to to know about it that's why we have no information I think or 
it's very very hard to um, get information about magical societies and that uh, very interesting uh, connections I think now it's through the Black Knight satellite that alien mantis have had here on Earth for thousands of years controlling um, some people. Um, by telepathy. That's what I think. That's my theory. Um, when they are sleeping or when they have opened their third eye and have some special genes, I think they can do it better. But uh, it's very hard to understand this and I have no scientifically proven um, it's only an idea I hope today that they will contact me for real that's my that's what I I, I want uh, as a present from them hopefully they want uh, to give me that because this is not about money it's about very uh, much more uh, a much more big um, reason uh, to connect um, read the article maybe I am a Treya it's not about religion, but I think alien mantis have controlled everything for a very long time because they are skilled. They knew, know the system for humanity and we must listen to them. Still, people do not believe me and keep on listening to, to mainstream media and it's very dangerous because it's controlled by the reptilians and they don't want to get uh, the true information uh, about everything to people that's serious stuff um, bye bye and uh, use love instead <laughs>